more submissive I should just shut my mouth Now she's completely different All your boys say she's dizzy Never gives her opinion Cause nothing smart will come out all right, we're at the Harlem Book Fair. This is Relentless Aaron. Uh, well, um, <laughs> caught me on the spot. It's yeah. funny. I was actually I just left you a voicemail. Oh, she. So obviously, obviously we are very connected because while I was leaving your voicemail, I was like, I'm looking. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and you're right there. That's crazy. Uh, this man is a leader in the industry. I've seen him grow constantly. He doesn't stop. Uh, he never ceases to amaze. Um, entertainment, books, literature, internet, you name it, the media, content is king, and this is the, is this the, the content maker. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Daryl. No so what do you think about these internet broadcasts that I got going on? Uh, I think that you started something that people have talked about for a long time, meaning the merging of television and the internet. People have been talking about it, but you're the only person that I know that's actually actually doing something about it and making it happen. Uh, I think a lot of people are still sleeping on the fact of what you're doing. And uh, once they wake up, it'll be too late and you will have control of the whole thing. <laughs> well, I don't want control as much. I want to share it with everyone. So, you know, if you don't know already, we um, manage and program over 40 internet broadcast channels like Harlem TV and Jazz TV and Hip Hop TV and Urban Lit TV. And it just goes on and on. Cotton Club, I just picked up the Cotton Club. So we're just doing big things, big things. And Daryl is primarily one of the people that, he, actually he's the per yeah, prim one of the people that taught me um, um, television production and editing in my 20s. And the student surpassed the teacher. It was him and Lamont <laughs> Burrell, but I think it was him first. And really seriously took that to another level now with the advent of the broadband and uh, the streaming media. And it's big. I wouldn't be here right. without that, dude. Thank you so much. No problem. I got one more thing to say. What's that? Uh-oh. It's very important that people like, like Relentless uh, is doing what he's doing as far as the internet TV is concerned because the problem is that we don't control what's happening in the media and in the airways and a lot of times the word gets suppressed so by doing this we have freedom of speech and freedom of expression and it's the only way that you get to find out the truth about what's really going on Wow thanks a lot man and it would be only fitting for me to go right from Daryl to Heather Hunter <laughs> Hey, sweetheart, how are you? Oh, I'm going to put this over and you can ha you can stay seated. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. So we're here with the world famous Heather Hunter on the low <laughs> at the Harlem Book Fair. We're on the low. Oh, my goodness. And I'm looking know, over I'm there. Looking, and my face is face on the is cover right of a and that was so funny. I was publication. You. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> I didn't even plan right. this. You couldn't you plan this. There. Have you seen Relentless Aaron? I, no, really. I'm look, we're all looking for him because he doesn't have a booth. Um, uh -huh. He's not selling books this year. He's not selling books this year. And I'm just wondering if you've seen him. Um, oh, look, wow. she took the He's glasses right off. Wow. Hi. <laughs> awesome. So Heather is, um, yes. is an author of yes. a book called Insatiable. And the paperback just came out. Tell us real briefly about the book, Heather. Um, well, this is kind of like loosely based on my, my life, but it's in a fictional story. And it's about a girl named Simone Young that gets caught up in the world of erotica, but, you know, strides into the mainstream business, but becoming a porn to a lot of people's desires. And, you know, she's searching for love, just like everyone else, but she's searching the wrong places. So, But it's a great book. It's on St. Martin's Press, and I've been getting... It's been really good, the blessing of it being my first book that a lot of people really love. And you have a new book coming out. Yes, I have a new book coming out and it's coming out next year. And what's that? Did you come up with a title for that yet? Well, that's the sequel to this. It's be the sequel. And I'm kind of hush-hush on the title right now. You hush-hush on a lot of things, Heather. <laughs> and, you know, not for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know that you are an icon of sorts. And Thank you. Um, you know, you have stayed at my house on occasion in the past, yes. um, unfortunately, but it was not the same bed, I should no. be clear. This is one of my dear friends. We've known each other almost yes. about 16, 17 years. Long time. Wow. Actually, a yeah, long, probably long even 20, 20 yeah. years now. And, 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 you know, we go through these things in life and now mm -hmm. we're here under the same publisher. I'm also with St. Martin's yes. Press. It's amazing how life happens. It's time to know? do a photo shoot together and just <laughs> tantalize these people with like some sort of, um, 
cooked, you know, something steamy. Okay. That's what they need, right? That's what they need. What so, um, la lastly, what's what's what, what does the publishing um, game mean to you? Um, right now, the publishing game it's a new venture for me, and I'm just I have, I'm glad that I'm blessed to have the opportunity to be in this business and be in this new world of the book world. So it's like substantial. It's like uh, yeah, credibility. Yeah, you, you know, right now I really won't in my heart. I will not feel like I'm a solidified author until I have about I mean, five books on the show. <laughs> You know, you. honestly, you know, I know, you know, just like, you know, it's a life, you know, I, I write one book. I don't want this one book to be to a be novelty. superficial. Right. And right, right, right. I really want to be respected as a writer, you know, and to me in my heart, when I get to that mission in life, then I could really, I'll feel good. And, you know, well, thanks so much, I'm here darling. on the book game. So we're here with Heather Hunter at the 2008 Harlem Book Fair. Thank you, darling. Good to see you, as always. Yep. From the masterpiece we call you and me, said you don't like the frame. I thought we had something true. You didn't want me and you. I couldn't understand why you hurt me and made me feel like a fool. When I called, got your voice, mail sent text, no reply. But the phone stopped ringing soon as I told my heart to tell you goodbye.